Okay, I want to show you the possibilities of these wonderful little squeeze bottles. I keep a whole variety of my favorite colors of paint in these little squeeze bottles. And I also use the foil adhesive, um, dye discharge. So these are like wonderful little pens. Let me show you how it works. So what I can do is I can write. So I'm going to squeeze the paint. See how it's coming down into the end of the tube. And you have to, you really have to make some practice runs with this. One of my favorite things to do is dots. But you can write. You can sign your name so you could make labels. And you can do the same thing um, with the dye discharge. So I wanted to show you this because this tends to beat up a little bit on the surface. And you have to just be patient with this. And you can see how it works. It comes out a little, a little blobby. I'm just working with that. And what I would do then is let that dry and soak in. Uh, it might take a little time for that to happen, but ultimately the fabric will draw that, the moisture in. Here, in this bottle, I've got foil adhesive. Squeeze that out. And we'll see each, like each material makes its own particular mark. And what you want to do is play. See, now I'm pressing more into the fabric. It's sticking a little bit better. Um, the dots work great here, too. But whatever kind of a shape you might want to make, I don't know if I'm Valentine today, um, you can do. So this, this shows you the foil adhesive. All the things that I've done here, you can do with paint as well. But I made a wonderful discovery, and that is this. I can take my paint. And I can take, so this is silver paint, I can take this, takes a little practice. And you can run a bead of paint along the edge. See how ravelly this fabric is? So I would, I would start with a fresh cut. But I can run a bead along the edge. It'll seal off the edge. So I always think this has great possibilities for scarves or the edges of a collar. It doesn't have to be perfect. You have to let go of that. This is your hand. And what I've done, lots of this, the more I do, the more steady my hand gets, the quicker I get, the more consistent the look. And that's really what I go for, is a consistent look. Now I would let this dry for a while right on the table. Um, because if you pick it up and hang it up, there could be some dripping. Um, but I've got a piece of plastic under here, and it'll dry. And when the paint dries, you have a nice, crisp, beautiful 